Several countries and global organizations have condemned the Israeli air attack on tents housing displaced people in Rafah, Gaza, which killed at least 40 Palestinians, including many children. The Palestinian presidency accused Israel of deliberately targeting civilians. Qatar condemned the attack as a grave violation of international laws, warning it could hinder mediation efforts for a ceasefire and hostage exchange deal. Egypt called for Israel to follow the International Court of Justice's order to cease military operations in Rafah. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan vowed to hold Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu accountable. The bölge ilan ettikleri refahta bulunan bir mülteci kampındaki sivillerin üzerinde füze ve bomba yağdırmışlar. Uluslararası Adalet Divanı'nın saldırıları durdurma çağrısının ardından gerçekleşen bu katliam terör devletinin kanlı ve kalleş yüzünü bir kez daha ifşa etmiştir. Tıpkı özendiği Hitler gibi, Milosevic gibi, Karadziç gibi ve tarihteki diğer fraunlar gibi lanetle alınmaktan kurtulamayacaklardır. French President Emmanuel Macron expressed outrage and called for an end to the operations in Rafa. Saudi Arabia condemned the continued massacres and violations of international laws by Israeli forces in Gaza. The UAE denounced the ongoing Israeli violations in the Gaza Strip and called for an immediate ceasefire. Spain's Foreign Minister Jose Manuel Alvarez condemned the attack, emphasizing the ongoing killing of innocent Palestinian civilians. Ireland's Foreign Minister Michael Martin described the attack as barbaric, urging Israel to stop its military operations in Rafah. Norway's Foreign Minister Espen Barthide cited the attack as a violation of the International Court of Justice's compulsory order. We are in this uh, low point in uh, history when it comes to the Middle East. It is exactly when you need to think about the day after. Uh, uh, our, uh, there's an imperative which is to get to a ceasefire. There is another imperative which is to radically upgrade the humanitarian efforts. But neither of these are actually solutions. The solutions have to be political, and we need to think about that political solution now. That is the context in which Spain, Ireland and Norway chose to recognize. We encourage other countries to do the same. The EU's foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell urged Israel to abide by the ICJ ruling. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock emphasized that international humanitarian law applies to all, including Israel. Former Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn labeled the bombing as a monstrous failure of humanity. Scotland's former First Minister Hamza Yousaf condemned the attack and highlighted the tragic consequences for innocent civilians. Defence Minister Guido Crosetto said the attacks were no longer justifiable and expressed despair over the situation. Canadian legislator Jagmeet Singh stated that the world, including Canada, is failing the people of Gaza. U.S. House Representative Ro Connor urged Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to immediately halt the assault on Rafa. Neset member Aida Tumislaiman denounced the Netanyahu government for its actions and refusal to follow international orders. UN Special Reporter Francesca Albanese described the attack as unacceptable and called for international sanctions and justice.